Hello everybody and welcome back to Rainbow Crafts. My name is Colton and today I will be making for you our Whiskey Business Soap. This soap is a custom fragrance blend that is supposed to embody the scents and flavors of an old fashioned, the cocktail. So stay tuned if you want to see how we made this cocktail inspired Whiskey Business Soap. Alrighty, let's start making this Whiskey Business Soap. This soap is a really fun one, mainly because it is based off of one of our favorite cocktails, a old fashioned. So there is some whiskey notes in here and there is some orange as well to give that kind of citrus sharpness that an old fashioned cocktail normally has. It is a custom fragrance blend that we made in house with some Kentucky bourbon fragrance oil, which is from Brambleberry, and then also some blood orange fragrance oil, and that is actually from Candle Science. It is one of our go-to candle fragrance oils. We use it in most of our candles, honestly, and they did reformulate it fairly recently within the past year to make it soap safe. And we were very excited for that, so we could put it in a soap like this one and also to make a kind of copycat of one of our signature candles called Van Tucky Mule which is a take on a Moscow Mule which also uses the blood orange fragrance oil so we were super excited So while I've kind of been gabbing here, I've just been going through the normal process of putting that lye water and sodium lactate into our signature plant-based oil blend, and that is in the description box down below if you wanted to see what was in that. We whisked that up along with some colloidal oatmeal, and now I've poured in about a third of that soap batter, uncolored, and that is specifically because the Kentucky bourbon fragrance oil actually does disc color to a light tan so I'm using that to our advantage I let that set up for like a minute or so and then I put some gold enigma mica into our little tea strainer there and I'm dusting that base layer and then I also put in about two teaspoons worth of the copper mica and I will be pouring a third of that into the slab mold as well. We're gonna be doing three layers total here and be making them progressively darker brown. The color that you see here is not necessarily representative of what the final soap is gonna look like. And I'll insert a picture here, probably up in one of the two corners because that discoloration will take effect, especially once we get those bars sliced up. So it looks like kind of like butterscotchy pudding now, and it's gonna be much darker, which is what we are wanting. I then just poured in the remaining mica into the remaining soap batter, and I'm just using the my spatula here, my scraper, to mix that in well. I don't want to cause it to accelerate because I do want nice, smooth layers. I didn't want to have any chunks or anything like that. And while it wasn't accelerating a ton, it was just a little thick, which is fine, especially when you're doing a three layer soap like this. Usually towards the third layer, you're getting a little bit thick and not quite as fluid as maybe what you would want. We here at Rainbow Crafts are big cocktail scent lovers. We have, like I mentioned earlier, a Van Tucky Mule candle. We also have an old fashioned candle which will come up for sale here in about the next month or so. It's one of our fall candles. We had a summer sangria soap, which is great. I did also make that gin, aviation gin inspired soap. I'll put a card up in the corner here a couple months ago, which is a really fun one. For some reason, foods don't, food scents don't sell well for us cocktail scents do so it's kind of like an asterisk there to the like consumable scents but like brownie chocolate those sorts of like sweet sugary scents don't ever do well for us 
for the top I have some uncolored soap base with a little bit of that super or it's called ultra gold mica from brambleberry which you can't really see it here but it's really shiny in person even after the soap uh, solidifies and the, this doesn't have any fragrance in it it is just plain soap batter and that's because I didn't want it to discolor to brown I wanted it to be a nice kind of bright uncolored soap base and then I will go in and drizzle some of that ultra gold mica in the lines between those uncolored soap bases We will then break out my trusty chopstick and zoom the camera in and then I'll just do my go-to kind of feathering technique to get that uncolored soap base zigzagged with the mica and also with the the top layer of that kind of dark butterscotch colored soap base as well. And then I was contemplating messing with it a little bit more, but I decided against that because I wanted to be able to see some of that bottom color, but also some of that top color. So I just left it alone. Sometimes you have to exhibit some self-control, especially when doing art projects. It's hard to know when to, to say, okay, I've done enough, it's time to stop. We'll tuck this away for 24 hours and it is time to break that slab down into loaves. The weird thing with this soap specifically is that it didn't really discolor much yet, but once we cut it into our bars, it did discolor. I was a little concerned at this stage because it wasn't giving the color story I had originally had in mind. It looks fine. I just wanted something a little bit different. And the final product does look more in line with what I wanted. I think if I remake this soap, I'll make everything a little more brown and a little less copper because there's some red tones there that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of. I wanted it to be more like rich browns. And then we will break out Dorothy and see how our line work worked. And that is exactly what I was going for. Nice, smooth, even layers and a nice gold Enigma mica line as well. I was curious to see how that Enigma mica would work to as mica lines between the layers because it doesn't really have a color it's just the shimmer that reflects the gold color or we have a red shift or a blue shift as well and that is it that is our whiskey business soap this will be for sale starting september 1st online and in person so definitely grab yours while you can. If you want to support the channel, we do have a subscription service where you can get soaps of the month, discount codes, shout out at the end of videos, and some other fun benefits as well. Thank you to all of our subscription members here, our study buddies and our foamy homies. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see what Rainbow Crafts comes up with next. It really does help the channel. Thanks. Bye.